you very much.
Excellency Sir, it is not worthy to mention that this set of group members have received different trainings in the parts of the three weeks orientation course. We are going to bring up this training. which can strengthen them and make them available in the national interest.
The Nigeria uh, Police, IG of Police Commissioners, Parastatas, and Department here present, the Controller Nigeria Customs Service, all represented heads of committees, camp director, camp commandants, principal officers of the orientation course, our distinguished invested guests, men of the press, ladies and gentlemen, our distinguished Calatad, where Marat, where to talk, where men talk, call members. Good morning, this morning. I heartily welcome our distinguished guests to the closing ceremony of the 2023 batch history two orientation course. They have deployed over 2,000 core members to Oyo State and their counterpart is watched from Lagos State. I particularly welcome His Excellency, the Governor of Oyo State, Governor Sherry Makinde, who is represented by our distinguished permanent secretary, who has ever been there for us in this occasion, Mrs. Olubukola Ajoke Oradipo, for finding time to be here with us. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, it is my pleasure to present this part of core members who have participated in the three-week orientation course as being qualified and cleared to proceed to the next stage, which is a place of primary assignment. They have been quite splendid in accepting and obeying instructions from the CAM officials. Their level of discipline, interaction, and cross-fertilization of social cultural ideas and experiences have been very commendable. The orientation course content has been so packaged in a way to touch on the attitude of the participants mentally, psychologically, and physically. Having gone through these life molding activities, I have no doubt in my mind that they are now fully prepared to appreciate the important role they are expected to play in nation building. It is particularly instructive to note that a major aspect of the orientation course has to do with value orientation among the youth and the need to face the reality of national situation in respect of to post service employment. I therefore appeal to all our distinguished core employers to be more responsive to their responsibilities towards core welfare. Show them love, correct their mistakes, and commend them when they get it right. This will engage our culture employer and employee relationship and in the process encourage core members to give up their best in national service. At this juncture, I urge you, my dear comments, to be hardworking and be above board. Be not abiding and accept challenges that will give you an edge in life. We should add value to the certificate you have acquired by embarking and embracing, embarking on and embracing self-development programs alongside your primary assignment. The fee appreciation and entrepreneurship development program that you have started in camp should not be done. Make sure you continue with both camp training you may not know that that can actually provide an acceptable content for you in the near future. 
I want to especially thank the government, government of Oyo State for the kind assistance we receive for this orientation program. I will not want to end this speech. Also, without sincerely appreciating the chairman, Argon, Oyo State chapter. The chairman designed local government and that of the Banan Northeast. Who found time to come and interact with these patriotic Nigerians during their cultural carnival? We appreciate you. I equally want to appreciate the camp officials for their service. We have been, we have been here for the past three weeks and I know it has not been easy staying awake for most hours of each day. I pray that God Almighty will reward you. We cannot forget to thank all our sponsors and others who assisted us in various ways, especially those that have contributed to the ongoing building project at the camp. Lastly, but not least, I wish to equally appreciate the permanent secretary, Minister of Youth and Sport, Mrs. Olubukola Oladiko, and other principal staff of our great ministry, Minister of Youth and Sport, for their relentless effort at ensuring that we have heat free orientation program. My dear comments, I expect you to accept your posting in good faith and go straight to the port at your places of primary assignment after this ceremony. I want you to mix freely with the people of your host communities and interact and interject with them. However, obey and respect their customs, culture and traditions. The expectations of the people you are going to meet over there are very high. And I want to be with you, not to disappoint them. Please go to the hospital of the NYC. I will definitely visit you personally at your own location to see how you fare. I wish you a fruitful and a rewarding service day. Thank you to your various places of grammar assignment. Thank you and God bless. to contribute to the building of a united 
peaceful, prosperous, and egalitarian society. Even though times are hard and the economy seems to be in a bad shape, we all have our individual roles to play to redeem this nation. Endeavor to productively put in your best, no matter how little or big it might be, for the transformation of your host communities. I indulge you to cultivate and maintain a healthy relationship with your host communities. Or your state is a pay center. In all ramifications, our people are very hospitable and accommodating. They do, they do not discriminate against non-indigenous. You will pleasantly discover that they are good welfareists. However, their good wish should not be taken for granted. The people's tradition, norms, and ways of life must be generally respected. Dear compatriots, I admonish you to make a positive use of your youthful age and strength. Be vibrant and progressive-minded. Seek advice when, when needed. Build good relationship and contact amongst yourselves. You are the hope and the future of this nation. So, pursue your aspirations with high level of integrity, humility, honesty, and creativity. There may be challenges along the line, but do not let them define you. Learn from them and grow. Your tenacity will definitely see you through any challenge. Restrict yourself to the company of people with idealism, courage, creativity. It is so disheartening to see a number of educated youths getting involved in crime. They are being blinded by the vanities of this world. Be confident and believe in yourself. If you are not able to do great things, then do small things in a great way. Trust the beauty of your dream to create the future you want to live. Fellow compatriots, always endeavor to be good. Ambassadors of both your families and the NYSC scheme, wherever you might find yourselves after now. Ensure that you refrain from any acts that will tarnish the reputation your predecessors have built over the years. The rest are sure that the administration of his evidence and the now which is that your demand is evidence of the last day to provide him adequate hospitality and also ensure that your support, security and welfare are not compromised. On your state is relatively peaceful and you will enjoy the oneness of the people. I actually commend you so